Bir kızı. There are no rules but one. Drink Jägermeister at minus 18 degrees Celsius. Uh, but they, they paid a lot of attention to mating of the dinosaurs, which is one of the themes that you are focused on, the sex life of dinosaurs. Yes. And I never thought about it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't I think mean, about it. Sex sells. You, the second you start talking about sex in any context, people are like listening. So, and people yeah. like, you just let's sell it. this episode. People, <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think people generally think about dinosaur sex unless you bring yeah. it up. And then it's like, wait a minute. Like, ha, ha, I don't, what is the angle? Like, it's, what do you guys want to know? I can, t I've done way too much research on dinosaur sex. Pterodactyls, <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm, uh, how did they do it? <laughs> in the air or on the <laughs> land? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably on the land. I, I mean, I can't think of any flying animals alive today that do it while flying. That'd be impressive. Yeah. Join yeah. the mile uh, high club, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just always, yeah. I mean, we. so do you want me to give you like the quick 60 second? My, here's my, all right, I'm going to give you the 60 second dinosaur sex riff. So uh, <laughs> we, know, you know, we can't go look at a dinosaur. So we're not really sure what's going on down there first. Uh, so we have to look at modern corollaries or modern relatives. So we look at reptiles and we look at birds. Birds are literally living dinosaurs. Yep. And birds and most reptiles like alligators and uh, crocodiles have cloacas. And cloacas are basically like one hole to rule them all. So it's like, it's one <laughs> hole. Yeah, it's, it's one hole out of which comes the pee, the poop, and the sexy time juices, right? And so... So, and then some reptiles have penises that are housed internally inside their cloacas that only come out during mating. Uh -huh. But either way, whether an alligator or a bird, they first practice something called, well, in order to mate, they practice something called a cloacal kiss, where they literally just push their cloacas together, and then the male sprays from the cloaca his genetic material, and then nine, not nine months, but nine months later, we have a baby, <laughs> whatever. Uh, Sounds romantic. <laughs> right. And so, and there's no, there's no evidence of baculum. So baculums are penis bones and a lot of mammals, except for humans. You guys may know this. Uh, <laughs> we don't have baculums, but a lot of animals do, but there's no evidence in the fossil record of dinosaurs having baculums. So they probably did a cloacal kiss thing. How like literally they came together is really hard to say, you know, like T-Rex may have done some sort of kind of doggy style-ish thing. I've seen depictions of, stegosaurus where they're basically like facing opposite directions and they put their asses in the air and push them together <laughs> that's one uh wow. we don't we're just not really sure um wow. there is a very funny theory from one i'm throwing up air quotes again pseudoscientific paleontologist who thought that because of the massive weight of sauropods so sauropods are your long neck dinosaurs you're like brontosaurus brachiosaurus that thing that type of thing because they weighed so much, he put forth a theory that they would have had to go to what he called sex lakes in order to mate uh -huh. so that the males wouldn't crush the females when they were mounted because of like a buoyancy, like water assist holding yeah. them up. There's no evidence whatsoever for that, but it's like a fun theory to think about. Yeah. I, Kama Sutra sounds just amateur yeah. <laughs> for those poses, yeah. especially Stegosaurus. Yeah, that, yeah. that must have been a bitch for them, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like porcupines. Porcupines somehow make it work. So I'm sure Spiky yeah. knows people. Yeah. We stay genuine, uncensored, and unscripted. And we always will, as we have to order our usual. Share us, subscribe us, and stay tuned until the next Wednesday. Iguzo!